Hello, thank you so much for joining me today. You're watching Esther from Stampin' Star Creations. Today I'm using Mint Macaron, Grey Granite, Calypso Coral and Pool Party, which were colours um, from a online colour challenge on Facebook. I'm using the High Tide stamp set and firstly going in with the Grey Granite for the first layer. The Stamparatus is great for this technique because we are doing two layers and we want them to be the same means that I can layer one on top of the other and still have the stamps go in the same position. Making sure to clean off my stamps in between those layers with the chamois each time. So using the Calypso Coral for the lighthouse on the second layer. The other great thing about this is that you can line up that second stamp to go with the previous stamp and you can take your time with lining that up in position and have it stamp just where you want it. The first impression wasn't strong enough for me so again the great thing is you can go in again and just have a, a darker colour by stamping it again. I needed to move this section across in order to fit the sand at the bottom of the picture. Each time carefully making sure that my cardstock hasn't moved, so just keep moving the magnets, making sure that things are in place. With the photopolymer, sometimes it does stick to the card, so just be careful when lifting that up. As you can see, you just got to peel it away gently. Then bringing back that second layer again, this will happen throughout the video where I keep swapping the images around to get the both layers stamped. So the great thing about this is that because my stamps are spaced out on the Stamparatus, I can use the different colours and stamp it all in one go. I had to move it along again a bit more just to fit in the C on the side. So just layering up those images and then I decided to bring in the birds. The great thing is you can switch around those plates, you can lift them up and turn them around so you've got four different surf surfaces all together because there is another plate that comes with this. So you've got those four sides to stamp with. So those are the two images and I just wanted this coloured one to have a lot more depth to it so I used the blend pen with the pool party to do a bit of colouring in the sea. Just get a piece of scrap grid paper and tear the edge using a sponge in the pool party colour and using it to create these clouds. Now I've done this technique before and I absolutely love it. The end result, I just, I'm always surprised by the end how realistic it looks and how such a simple technique can work to create these clouds. As you can see, I avoid going over the lighthouse to make it look realistic. I'm using the rectangle stitched framelit dies and just you just got to take your time to choose what fits your uh, project and I've used three different ones to highlight different areas on the card. Carefully picking this up I take it over to the big shot and I do run two layers through. I ran it through a couple of times to make sure that it cut. I wasn't sure if it was going to work but amazingly it did and that was on our normal Whisper White cardstock. So just pop those images out and then you swap the negatives around so the coloured one goes in the, the plain one and vice versa. So you really do get two cards the price of one. I wanted to make the images pop a bit more so I've used the pool party around the edges on the coloured one and then I use the grey granite on the other one to highlight the edges and I think it just really helps to make the images pop and highlight those where you've put them back. Now I notice when I'm sponging this there is a smudge on there so I just use the sponge to help me disguise that bit and 
run my sponge along that a bit more. I've created some matting and layering. I thought the double layer made the card the colours really pop, so I'm just incorporating the same colours as I have with the inks. I used some Stampin' Dimensionals, again, just to add the extra dimension. We've got lots of dimension going on with those popped up shapes, but it was just nice to add the extra dimension to them. So I'm layering one onto Pool Party and Grey Granite, and then the Grey Granite onto the Calypso Coral. And there's our finished cards. Please let me know in the comments below which one you prefer, either the Grey Granite Lighthouse or the Calypso Coral one. I think they're both fab and I love the way they've come out. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Do subscribe to my channel and you'll be up to date with all my new videos. Take care, have a good day.